Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a target line in a pivot chart. I'm assuming you've already created your pivot table. Here's mine, calculates average score for each of our players. The first step is to create a calculated field that returns the target value for each row in this table. To do that, click somewhere in your pivot table, go up to the Analyze tab on your ribbon, go to Field Items and Sets, go to Calculated Field, then type in a name for your calculated field. I'll call this Target. In the Formula box, you want to type Equals and then the Target. If we say 50 for ours, then click on Add, then click on OK. And now you can see you've got a column that returns your target value in each row of the pivot table. You can always rename this column. I'll call this target score. Next step is to make the chart. So click anywhere in your pivot table, go to the analyze tab on your ribbon, click on pivot chart, go down to combo at the bottom of the list. You want your data showed as a clustered column and your target shown as a line. Click on OK and it will create the chart for you. You now have your column chart with your target line. I'm gonna get rid of these buttons that appear on the chart. I'm gonna right click on one of them and choose hide all field buttons on chart. Now I'm gonna click on this plus sign top right of the chart and that gives me a lot of options in terms of whether or not I want certain chart elements to appear. The first thing I'm gonna get rid of is the grid lines and I'm gonna get rid of the vertical axis. I'm also gonna get rid of the legend, but I do want to show data labels. I only want to show data labels for the columns, so I'm gonna click on the columns and then tick data labels. I'm also gonna show chart title. Okay, I'll come out of that little menu. Now in this cell, we're going to write a formula that will dynamically create a chart title for us. Before we create it, there's just one setting that I want you to apply or make sure is applied in your pivot table. Click into your pivot table, go to the Analyze tab on your ribbon. Over on the left-hand side, you have Options. If you click on the little drop-down next to it, just make sure that Generate Get Pivot Data is ticked. It should be by default. Then I'm gonna click in this cell here and I'm gonna write the formula. The heading wants to say something like average player score versus target of, and then whatever the target value is. Then I'm gonna concatenate or join that text string with a reference to the target score value. Click in that cell there. And it generates this get pivot data formula. We don't really need to worry about that. We can just press enter. And you can now see we have the text for our chart title. To link this chart title element to that cell, you select the chart title element, go to your formula bar, type equals, and then click into the cell where you typed your formula. Press enter, and you can see it returns that text in the chart title element. We're now gonna change our target score value. To do that, click somewhere in your pivot table, go to the analyze tab on your ribbon, Go to Fields, Items and Sets, Calculated Field. In this drop down here, select the calculated field that you want to change the value for. And in the formula box, type in a new value. So I'll type 55. Click on Modify, then click on OK. What you'll see is that the target line has moved up and also our heading reflects our new target value. One thing you might not like about this target line is that it doesn't quite span the width of the chart. Here's what I did to get around this problem. Click on the line and that reveals the data points on the line. Click on the first data point and it will deselect the others. Now go up to the plus sign top right of your chart and tick data labels. That creates a data label for that data point. Drag that data label to the left hand side as far as it will go within the bounds of the chart. What it does is create a little line that connects your data point to the target line. Select that line and you want to format it with the same color and width as your target line. So you can do that by going up to format, shape outline and choosing a color. And then if you go back to shape outline, you can choose your weight. Now what you want to do is make this data label text as small as possible. To do that, with it selected, go to Home and change your font size to 1. Press Enter. Then 
change the font color to white to blend in with the background of the chart. Now if I click outside that data point, you can see now that the horizontal line extends out to the edge of the chart. Now I need to do the same to this data point. This one can be a little bit trickier. You need to make sure that it's the only data point selected. Then you go to the plus sign top right of your chart. Make sure data label is ticked and come out of that menu. Now you won't see anything because it's already formatted with the settings that this data label has had applied to it. But if you click just to the right of the target line, it will select your data label. And if you drag that out, it will extend the horizontal target line for you. Click outside it and you can see now you have a line that does indeed span the width of your chart. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.